The year was 1975. The USSR breaks a trade agreement with the US. The British Conservative Party chooses its first female leader, Margaret Thatcher, and the White Tangy Tribunal was created. In the video game industry, Atari released one of the most iconic video games in history, the Pong. Since then, other companies started making games, and the industry became bigger and bigger. It started from Pong, then came Pac-Man, then Tetris, then came our favorite Italian plumber, Mario. In the 21st century, video games became more controversial because of violent genres becoming popular. Games like Grand Theft Auto, Manhunt, God of War, and many more. These games started alarming parents internationally. In a new survey by Common Sense Media, 75% of bold parents say they think violent video games contribute to violence. Those shootings in the U.S., do you think video games are related to it? Not really, because people who are unstable enough mentally just, just wake up and decide they're going to go and shoot at a school are probably unstable enough that they would do that anyway without the video games. I mean, I don't think they've got that much of an impact. Despite all these, video games also do have positive effect on us. Many studies conducted by many different institutions show both positive and negative effect on us. But for now, we are going to look at these positive impacts. Do you think video games are bad for people? Um, I think it has positives and negatives. I mean, a positive is it can help you with problem solving and give you quick reaction times and good hand-eye coordination. But um, there are a lot of negatives with like people spending too long on their end and getting over-dedicated to them and spending their whole lives on video games. According to the University of Rochester, video gamers can make decisions 25% faster than those who don't play video games at all, also without sacrificing accuracy. That may be, but let us look at into these games that actually help us stimulate our brains. Firstly, hand-eye coordination. In shooting games, the character may be running and shooting at the same time. This requires the player to keep track of what is going on, speed, direction, the environment, and so on. All of these have to be taken into account, and the player must then coordinate the brain's interpretation and reaction with the movement in their hands and fingertips. Quick thinking making fast analysis and decisions. Sometimes the player does this almost every second of the game, giving the brain a real workout. According to the researchers of the uh, mentioned university, games simulating stressful events such as those found in battle or action games could be a training tool for real-world situations. The study suggests that playing action video games primes the brain to make quick decisions. Video games can be used to train soldiers and surgeons according to this study. Management Management simulation games such as Roller Coaster Tycoon or Zoo Tycoon teach players to make management decisions and manage the effective use of finite resources. Other games such as Age of Empires and Civilization even simulate managing the course of a civilization. Now that we had a good look at the uh, positive impacts of video games, let's go over the opposite of it. Many video games can improve skill and also has health benefits, such as relieving chronic illness, improve a preschooler's motor skills, relieving stress and relieve pain and vision. But can video games only do just that, or are there other effects? For a long time, people are blaming violent video games to have negative effects such as a violent attitude towards people blamed for violent attacks on others, and also blamed for recent school shootings in the U.S., particularly the Sandy Hook Elementary Massacre. 
On the 14th of December 2012, 20 children and 6 staff members were killed in the school by a deranged, heavily armed shooter who murdered his mother earlier and also killed himself as well. 20-year-old Adam Lanza is known to have suffered from mental illness. An anonymous police official is now blaming video games after they found the murderer's home a large spreadsheet of detailed information about past murders believed it to be a score sheet like those scoreboards found on shooter video games. Debates began on violent video games affect people's behavior. Many people do agree that it causes violent behaviors, but most people do not agree. The people who agreed to change in behavior are saying that some games show and teach people how to kill in many different ways. Other reasons include violence and cruelty. Manhunt was the first video game officially banned in New Zealand for the very reason of gory violence and extreme cruelty. People who disagreed to change in behavior are mostly gamers themselves. They tell people that it's not the games that make people violent and aggressive. It really depends on the person. It's their choice to change who they are. The people who disagreed also said that why are people, mostly parents, targeting only video games as the source of violence, where there are movies, books, maybe music that do just the same. Most parents say video games are a distraction to their kids. It's a reason for failure in schoolwork, less time outside hanging with friends, and also their chores and homework that they need to do are not done. Some people who play sports also play games, but does it distract them or is it helping them to further develop their skills? Does it distract you from sports? Um, yeah, because it's good. It's like it's like very different from like like in the game game console rather than in real life. Does it help you develop your skills? Yeah, it, it, I think it does because it, it can like it can um, it can uh, improve your intelligence on the sport, and the IQ playing the sport. So. Do you think video games are good for people? I think not. Why not? Because it's kind of distracting to some people. Do you think video games are bad? No. Why not? Video games are not bad because you will learn a bad one ball videos like math. Overall, what do you think of video games? I think that they're good if used in moderation, but I do know there are some people who go to extremes who like wake up at um, breakfast and play video games for the whole day and then stop at dinner because they realize they're hungry and the whole day's just gone and they've spent it on PlayStation.